The fast-moving firestorm in Southern California continues to burn, scorching tens of thousands of acres and growing, forcing even more people from their homes. Good afternoon. I'm Ann Makovic. Michelle Griego is off today. And I'm Kenny Choi. Crews are battling three major fires in Ventura County, northwest of Los Angeles. Right now, the largest wildfire is the 50,000-acre Thomas Fire. More than 66,000 acres have burned since the fires began on Monday. At least 180 homes have been destroyed, and crews from the Bay Area are among the 1,100 firefighters right now on the front lines. 150 thousand people have been ordered to evacuate areas of Ventura and Los Angeles counties. Danielle Nottingham is live in Los Angeles with the very latest. Danielle. Well, good afternoon. We are in Bel Air in Los Angeles County near the Skirball Fire. It's not one of the largest fires burning right now, but it's created a lot of chaos. If you can look behind me, a lot of roadblocks in this area. You can see the smoke from the fire. This is a neighborhood with a lot of curvy roads going up mountains, one way in, one way out. So emergency officials here trying to manage evacuations and keep everyone out of that area. And also, if you take a look to the other side, this is all happening near the famed Getty Museum, which is closed today because of these wildfires. So this Skirball fire created a lot of chaos and shut down a major highway during the morning commute. The aerial assault on the California wildfires began when it was still dark and will continue all day as long as the winds don't get too bad. The latest fire to erupt is in the city of Los Angeles. It shut down the 405 freeway this morning and is already burning homes in Bel Air. Our plan here is to try to stop this fire before it becomes something bigger. In some neighborhoods, people are using garden hoses to hold back the flames. The intense battle is exhausting firefighters. Wind-driven flames have scorched more than 200 homes since Monday, most in Ventura County, where the largest fire is burning out of control. Clint Garman watched his parents' home burn to the ground. How, years ago. how long have you guys been living there? Uh, I've been there 20 plus years. My kids have all grown up and the grandkids have all spent many years there. The flames have already jumped this major freeway and reached the Pacific Ocean. About 150,000 people in this area have been ordered to evacuate. Margot Edison left while she could, but not without her animals. The winds can change with, this, with the Santa Ana's very quickly and come west to us because it's done that before and it moves so fast you barely have time to get out. Firefighters are still expecting high winds and low humidity. The crews are hoping to start making progress on the devastating wildfires. And so far, fire officials say only a handful of homes have burned so far here in Bel Air. Now, these high winds are expected in the region through the week. And so far, with all of these fires, there's very little containment or zero containment. Live in Bel Air, Danielle Nottingham. Kenny, back to you. Danielle, we know that that, that Bel Air area home, like, several multi-million dollar homes and a place uh, full for celebrities. What's the evacuation situation in that part of Los Angeles where you are in Bel Air? Yeah, well, Kenny, you can imagine the chaos it's creating. Many people not wanting to leave those homes. And it's also hard to get in, hard to get out, hard for fire officials to get some of these big trucks and equipment they need up these mountains. So right now they are evacuating these neighborhoods. People also trying to drive through to see where they're going. So that's why you see these roadblocks right here. Uh, the police are trying to manage that. And what their main concern is right now, the winds are calm, so it doesn't seem like there's a lot of danger, but the winds are expected to kick up later tonight, and that's where they see the fire danger returning in this area. So right now it doesn't look so bad, but they are not out of the woods by far, Kenny. Danielle Nottingham with the very latest in Bel Air. Danielle, thank you.